All right, call the meeting in order. We uh, we got some awesome minutes written by Donna from our last meeting, where awesome we talked nice. about just about everything we could have. And anybody have any corrections or additions to it? I'll move them. Any second, please. Second. All those in favor to approve the minutes as read. Aye. Aye. Yeah. Anybody opposed? Okay. Thank you again, Don. They're very good minutes. You're welcome. Uh, where do you guys want to start? You want to start with the projects? So you want to look at the money? Anybody care? Okay. Let's start with the projects. The library, I think we're all pretty much in agreement on, um, as of last meeting anyways. I don't think anybody had any more questions for Jim or, or any of the trustees. Uh, we did have the question about if $75,000 was not enough, what would happen? And Jim's response was, we'll have to go back to the town, which wasn't the best response I was hoping for because they do have fundraising opportunities and they do have some sort of, I don't know what you call it, endowment or they have money in Trust. the bank. Yeah. A what? Trust what fund. Is, I mean, yeah, a trust fund. So, but anyways, regardless of how they find more money, um, now I'm not suggesting we uh, we vote on it right now because, but we could if you guys want to. I honestly don't see a reason why we wouldn't. Uh, you know that it's it's really not up to us where they get the rest of their money. Um, you know that's 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 their that that's they got to cook their own food in the kitchen. Um, okay. And, and again, I, if, if there's no reason to keep debating it, why not vote on it and get it off our plate? I guess the question is, do we vote it conditional on them having enough to, to start construction? I mean, if the bids come in higher than they expect and we can't raise the money. Well, what would what would be the, um, sorry, I'm, I'm turning my phone off. <laughs> it looks like I'm looking at my phone, but I'm actually turning it off. Actually, you, and you probably can't see that at all. Um, if we voted to approve $75,000, we would not, they couldn't draw on the money until they began the project, right? I honestly don't know if they have to have all the money when they start or they could do it in phases. They could probably do it in phases, actually. Well, I, I guess the, the hesitancy would then be if we didn't think that they were going to be able to raise whatever delta existed. If we were confident that they would be able to find the money eventually, then I, I personally don't have a problem with them starting the project with our money. Um, the, the concern would be if we were sort of uncomfortable with our confidence that they would be able to find the rest of the money and then they would have a half started project and our money would be gone and a big hole in the center of town would exist. Well, they've already just they've already decided to allocate seventy five thousand dollars of the money that Bob Judah left them to that. Right. Right. And they and I think he left about two hundred thousand, and okay. they used and they used some. Of, that's kind of um, <laughs> that isn't a firm no, figure, but that's ballpark. You, that's what you think too, Judy. Yeah. And they spent some of it for uh, how can I not? Joan Switz said <laughs> the architects to do the initial plans. Uh, I mean, the worry that I had is you know. Jim sent us so many different documents and every single one of them had a different total price on it. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't think it's suddenly going to be 250,000 instead of 150,000. No, but it could very well be 200,000. It could very well be 200,000. Yeah. I mean, the market. Jonathan, I know the finance committee at one point entertained the idea of using some town monies before the pandemic hit. They had approved it. Yeah, they'd, the, they'd the, approved the seventy-five. So yeah, obviously the 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 finance committee is being 
probably uh, overly cautious with 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 what they're approving these days because of the unknowns. Um, but all projections of, for for revenue is that, that that the revenue streams are not as bad as people were concerned they would be. Um, right. You know, it's. I, I, I don't I don't see the finance committee saying no to it personally. I, I just you know knowing our finance committee, mm -hmm. they'll say no to a lot of things, but this stuff politically isn't one of them. Between the trust, us, and the finance committee, they should have enough funds to complete the project. Sounds like. What do you think they'd be asking for? Another fifty? Probably. Well, they said. Maybe zero. You know? yeah. I don't think it'd be more than fifty, John. <laughs> well, and and also, how much? And again, forgive me if I don't. If this answer it should be have been should be readily available to me, but is the town doing the work? No, no, I don't think. Well, so. I guess so. That that would be something that I think would be a possibility, and obviously we'd have to run it by Keith, but. If the highway crew can do some of the work, it's almost all time. interior. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interior renovation. I mean, it's. I'm not sure Keith could do anything it's like a, that. It's a builder's <laughs> job. Yeah, because it's like elevated. It's like handicap it's accessible elevators, elevators and right? bathrooms. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's all interior stuff. I see what you're saying. Okay. Do some in kind kind of work, but I'm not sure Keith is capable of. Yeah. Okay. It's not because. It's not excavation, that type of stuff. But, but we could we could vote today to we could vote preliminary approval for the project today. I think we don't usually take the final vote till after the public our public hearing, True. right? Yeah. So there's yeah. no reason we can't. Okay. Take that. Uh, would you, would you like me to <laughs> rephrase that as a motion? Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, I I move that we give um, pre pre preliminary approval to the proposal from the library for handicapped accessibility renovations. In the amount of seventy five thousand dollars. In the amount of seventy five thousand dollars. Thank you. Second. Any discussion? All those who favor it, say aye. 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 Those opposed, unanimous. Jonathan, why you just talked about Keith? Is he going to be doing that culvert for the Waitley Woods project? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, that was agreed to, I think, with yeah. the project. Yep. Yeah. That's already clear That's to actually the land that they're on here. Yeah. That's already clear to CONCOM? Yeah. Oh, cool. Very good. All right. Veterans Memorial. I know we've been waiting for Brian or Jim or a combination of both to set up a public meeting so we can hash this out. And it hasn't happened to my knowledge. Anybody well, there's a there's a, a wrinkle to the plot. Um, last night while I was going on, the, I was on the Waitley, the town website uh, to log into the open space committee, you know, because I was looking for the agenda and I saw that there was an, an open meeting on the calendar for tomorrow night to discuss the Veterans Memorial, which reads, postponed in capital letters. I, I don't know what that means. I'm not following uh, it. There's supposed to be a meeting tomorrow night? There, it, it was someone put a meeting on the calendar for tomorrow night. Uh, no one told us, or I guess I can say, or the neighbors, <laughs> since uh -huh. I'm a neighbor. Uh -huh. and, and then somehow it got, and then it's been postponed. So I don't know what that means. It, it but, may be postponed because they didn't tell the neighbors. Well, or because we we asked Jim, we asked him to revise the proposal and ask for more money. We said we wanted to see how the plan fit with the sidewalk, the future sidewalk installation. Jonathan, you asked if, if it should have a bigger footprint. Right. And he said point. probably, <laughs> but you know, I, I thought we were get I thought. I thought we were expecting a revised design with more information and a different we, budget. We were expecting that. Yeah. Right. Can we ask him to get that to us before our March meeting? Yeah. Uh, I guess we should check in with Brian first because he's the one who proposed the public 
meeting. Well, we asked, we'd asked for it too, yeah. way back. Right. Yeah. And, and we really did throw them a softball because we were saying, boy, think bigger. Right. You know, <laughs> we don't do that. all that stuff. Yeah. Add it in there. Yeah. We're saying add more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, I will get a hold of Brian tomorrow. I just want to see what he's what this postponement was and why. But uh, then I'll get a hold of Jim and hopefully by our March meeting he can join us and update us. Um, I will. I will also. I probably copied Brian on the draft minutes, especially since he was at our last meeting. But I will send these to him and point out that we haven't had another, we haven't had any more information. <laughs> but I'm not gonna ask him about the postponed meeting. I'll leave that to you, Al. Okay. All right, so we'll just wait to hear. Um, two projects that have money left over. One is the vault for $1,192.29. And the other one was for the curtain. They're $100, $1,000, and I don't have it all right here. How much was it, Judy? Do you remember? I don't know. They both added up to about $2,200. So yeah. it was $1,100 or $1,000.06 or, $1, or something. Okay. $1,006, I think, maybe something like that. So we. Have I talked to Lynn, she's fine with the vault money coming back and the historical society is okay with the curtain money going back into the general fund or our general fund, not towns. So I'll t entertain a motion to move that money back. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, unanimous. One quite small correction and, and we needn't do it but a small portion of the curtain money came out of the historic preservation fund and i've assumed that small portion would go back into the okay preservation bucket but it's only 274 dollars so i don't, it might be more trouble than it's worth i wouldn't we might think need so. that money <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can support that. <laughs> I don't it wouldn't be that much more respond. trouble, would it, Judy? <laughs> no. no. It's just one motion, I think. Right. It's one motion, two different buckets. Yeah. Okay. We should put it back where it came from, just to keep a nice, clean paper trail. Uh, Judy did an awesome job figuring out where we are with our funds. And like Jonathan said, we lowballed our estimates last year because we weren't sure what to expect with the pandemic. Um, we guessed we'd be around 155,000 with a state match and we ended up being about 178, 179,000. So Waitley's revenues went up and we were, weren't sure what the state was going to do, but they matched 100%. Because people are buying expensive houses all over the state like right. crazy. They are. Yeah. The wealthy yeah. get wealthier and the poor get poorer in the age of pandemics. That's for sure. That's the yeah. way it goes. Yeah. Sadly. Anybody have any questions about uh, what Judy had written up here? You were doing it. Yeah, oh, it's really great. clear. Yeah. I, I did assume, I didn't check with with Lynn or anybody about property tax revenue, but so so the fact that it would stay at the same level is a pure assumption. But yeah. If anything, I think I mean Jonathan seems to indicate that that's not a bad assumption. So I don't know. This point in the year, they don't know all that much anyway, so it's a little hard to tell. Mm -hmm. I don't see housing prices falling. I don't see the demand for housing falling. So I would well, think it's it, whether people pay what they're supposed to pay or not, primarily. But well, um, so that's that's the weak point. If if I hear 
I'll, I'll try and ask or get a feel for it before before our public hearing, but because that that number is easy to change. Okay. Um, I I had two questions, just hypothetical questions. Um, so we have proposals this year for less than a hundred thousand, right? <clears throat> well, I mean, the, the, unless Jim, unless Jim re, re does it yeah. numbers, but yeah. I mean, the Veterans Memorial proposal now is less than ten, so it's right. not going to go Absolutely. up, you know, enormously. Um. So I guess my question is uh, when when we would usually talk about whether we should again uh, retire some of the debt for town hall early. Oh, yep. Now's a good time. Yeah, we got the extra funds. It would take a special town meeting, which I gather people are reluctant to do. And Lynn was very uncomfortable with us prepaying anymore last year because the note has gotten to a level where she thinks banks won't be interested in bidding on it if we make it much smaller. So what I so what we're doing is just essentially accumulating it in reserve to while interest rates are so low. Right. Yeah. I don't really think there's a problem if they were higher. You right. would want to pay it down, but we've effectively banked it, so we we have it. Does it and we, was three, that was that clear? That seemed very. Well, it's very clear. Yeah, <clears throat> so we have three three more payments or four. Five. 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 We're at two hundred thousand dollars now. I think we've been paying like forty. Okay. Now I could talk to her, but she 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 was uncomfortable last year, and I imagine she'd be more uncomfortable this year. Well, and, and I really don't think anybody wants a special town meeting. It's also time, and the staff town staff is stretched right now. I I believe. Yeah, yeah. It would, I think it's at the end of March too. So well, there's time. So, I mean, there's physical time, not people time. There's calendar time. Oh. Um, it's a well, good thanks. question. I did think about it, but. What was your other one, Donna? My other question is about community housing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, it, because, you know, we, we did succeed in uh, galvanizing the housing committee to have a meeting, which was good. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope they continue to meet, but I guess I, this is an, again, entirely hypothetical since they've now said to us that what they are hoping to do is build, I suppose they could also buy a property and convert it for multi, uh, multi-family housing. Um, if, if they, uh, do that work and come up with a possible site, would it be possible for us to take debt against CPA money for that kind of project as it was for town hall? And the reason I ask that is I, I've been thinking about how important it is for the town to have more than two units. And at 15 to $20,000 a year, if all they're doing is taking the money we allocate to their bucket, it's never going to happen. <laughs> no. okay. I mean, the, the, they're never going to catch up with the cost. And, and I, I, this is really hypothetical with no number in mind whatsoever. Um, well, it's funny, you and I, I was thinking a little bit the same thing that maybe somebody somehow ought to be talking to them about. They don't necessarily just have to think within the bucket. <laughs> Because they, well, can draw the thing, that they could they could draw on the un, unallocated CPA they fund can, balance they can, just that, like anybody and any other yeah, yeah. But, and borrowing is a possibility yeah and borrowing when rates are low like this would be a great thing to do well they're meeting Let's give them a few more months and see if they keep meeting if not selectmen gonna have to do something. 
Okay. <laughs> well, and, and, you know, and, and I've spoken with a few people about this. I, I really think that they should be looking at that piece of property by LaSalle Flores. Um, you know, you can't get closer to 510 and whatever, however you wanted to find the bus route that currently exists, not that it really is an effective route in any way, shape or form. That being said, it's, it's open property. It's sitting there doing nothing. You have access to 510. Which property which, are you talking which, about? Which, which, which if, you, if, if, you, if you're coming down Claverick and you have LaSalle on your left, if you take yeah. a right, there are two dilapidated buildings that are one's owned by a guy in Sunderland and one's owned by a guy in Hatfield. The one is you can barely see the house anymore. And the other one, it's actually a decent property, and it all that's, backs up to a, a a big farm, a field that's farmed. And I've pointed this out to many people. Uh, I know that Richard Tilburg is all fired up about those those, those properties. Um, it backs up against swamp or wetlands. I don't know what how awesome. they're designated, um, but that's the only that that would be a con com issue. And you know who knows? Yeah, it's the river front. It's, it's the Mill happened. River. Yeah. yeah. River, okay. It's <laughs> rivers are wetlands right now. <laughs> they are. They are wet. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> pretty true. Also, too, if I guess the south can transform to a pot facility, I don't know if that would affect any of the. I, I don't think so. I mean, no. it, you know, it would, what's the difference between that and a gin distillery? Yeah, true. Um, though I like gin, but. That dilapidated house is reputed to be the oldest one in Waitley, and it was Thomas Craft's. The, the famous potter's home and no, the site of his pottery. The last one there? Probably too? all sorts of well, artifacts. Well, the, the first one. The last one is the guy from Hatfield. Yeah. Which I would doubt very much he'd be willing to sell. Why? He doesn't do anything with it. Nah, he just doesn't sell stuff, John. I, I, numerous examples. He buys stuff and he's a different breed. How old is he? He must be pushing 70. He's older That's than me. Old. Can we wait him out? I can wait, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I just, it, I, I do think there's interest to do stuff on the housing committee, but they just need someone to, to, to lead instead of follow. What's up with the DeMeo property? It's so commercial and it's a lousy housing site. I mean, it's a lousy there's housing. no neighbors around. It's surrounded by swamp. It'd be a terrible right. place for, for a family. And not, not to mention, you're, you know, the neighbors are horrible. I mean, when, when, it, when an auto body garage has to put up Arborvitae to protect its property value from the neighbors, you know the neighbors are not real. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You're, you're talking about the double house. Yeah. 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 Which the board of health should have an issue with because along the potato field there, it's it's just all dumped trash and. Lately all... has so little commercial property, it would be a shame to. To use it there. Right. To use it there. I agree. No. I'm not eager to have a big commercial property, commercial enterprise down the road from my house, but. You it know. can't be very big, Jonathan. The septic capacity is very small. I think. Yeah, very small. yeah, I mean, it's surrounded by wetlands. That's, it's cattail heaven <laughs> right there. You know, it's Although wet. The, they put the septic in shortly before they went out of business. So it is yeah. a new septic. Yeah, septic's yeah, pretty I don't, but that, Yeah, but it's not gonna be. Right. But they only had a few bathrooms in there and a kitchen. I don't think it's a big septic tank. Right. The stream and stuff with the property, it might be very limited space with all the wetland issues. I don't know. I, I think look. that if, if uh, my suggestion to the housing committee would be to have a package of some sort, an idea for a site and an idea for a property. Mm. And whether they have partners or not, habitat or I mean, an idea for a building to do it at piecemeal, they'll, they'll never get it together. Yeah. Oh, ain't big, yeah. Hey, I'm <laughs> sure they'll get it together anyway, but that's a different issue.
Mm-hmm. Alan, do you know that guy who the Hatfield guy? Yeah. Would he come to a select board meeting? I could ask him. I should ask him if he's interested first. Hey, I guess my point is, guess what? He can either talk with us or I have no, because I he, he's not a Whitley resident. I don't know him. I have no problem saying, you know, eminent domain is always a possibility. Yeah. Because I, I you don't think want that houses either. Or he, in, in, in. I'm told that he really values privacy. I, True. I think the idea of a public meeting might be absolutely abhorrent to him. Well, let me talk to him. I mean, I'd appreciate that because, I, again, it's you know, I'm not a fan of, 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 of money pits in anywhere, anywhere in town. And they're both money pits. And again, I understand he doesn't own the one that's really bad. Mm-hmm. But and you can barely see the, the place that's really bad at this point. Right. I don't know. Just have a pleasant conversation with him saying, yeah. hey. It, it would, well, Jonathan, are, will it, are you suggesting that the select board might be willing to move forward with a plan without active input or and management of the project by the housing committee. And then of course we have the housing trust, you know, which is, I, I mean, I, I, it seems to be just in terms of procedure, somehow more energy has to be uh, found. Donna, I would say in answer to the question, and I can't speak for the entire select board, obviously, but as someone who's been around the select board for a long time, I bet I could get the select board to take interest. And I know that Richard thinks that that is the best property. Again, we would have to go through, you know, Andrew's intelligence to, to, to talk about the, 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 the river, et cetera. But if it's, I know Richard thinks it's, Richard doesn't think there's a better location for housing in town than that location. If you stay in the footprint, it's doable. Well, you, they want multifamily. It's yeah. doubtful that it'll be within the footprint. Well, yeah. if, we, if we could acquire both properties, we would just combine the two properties. And yeah, and that could be feasible. Well, we'll see what anybody has to say. Okay. Uh, I just got a question about why it takes the state so long to do APRs now. There's only one person doing them, if at all. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. yeah. Short just staff. Me. I was very yeah. surprised that both the APRs that we approved a year and a half ago, almost two years now, haven't gone through the state. Well, I think they, they lost four or five months with the pandemic with just nobody working at all. So. But that's only a partial excuse. Yeah. Judy, I would argue it's not an excuse at all. I know that since the pandemic, I've never worked harder in my life because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> so, then, what, all- happened, what happened to the Ashman's barn? I must have been. Uh, tornado, uh, before I call oh, it. Was, was that the one that... The, yeah, oh, it was their barn that the tornado took down. So the uh, microburst, microburst, they want to call it. Yeah. Right, the micro. So, so the problem there is the the property has to be revalued. In effect, they didn't say that. She didn't. She said the Sobieski has to be revalued, but she right. said the Ashmans are reconsidering and not doing the APR. I don't know what. Right, the- that's what I'm looking at the at at uh, Margaret's email. Yeah, I, I don't understand forwarded. what the barn has anything to do with APR in the land, but. They're gonna try and sell the land now that the barn's not there, maybe, or maybe. I'm thinking. I would think the barn would be adding some value to, to on the right buyer. Mm-hmm. What's it zoned? It's ag. It's ag one, I think, or ag two, whatever it is. It's just all agricultural. Ag one and ag two. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Uh, I've run out of things to talk about, guys. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else get something? 
gives me a half an hour break. I know. You guys got a lot on the agenda tonight, John? No, and it's a pretty it's a pretty short agenda, actually. Good for you. Are we meeting in March? Yeah. We is. Okay. Uh, again, it'd be the 10th. Oh. The 10th. Of March, yes. Should, should work. Five o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Stay safe.